So today I've been making a former for bending some tube. I decided to use this tube for a client project I'm doing and I couldn't didn't have a former for it and couldn't be bothered buying one so I've decided to make one. As you can see here I've taken some still photos so I'll add that through the video as well. Uh, to basically started off life as a straight piece of tube. This piece here, this is the other side of it. Uh, some kind of scaffolding or something because it had holes poured through it for pins again. It was only a bit, it was a close, a close fit for this tube. You can see that there. And I decided to make this former to work in both ways. It will work off of a hydraulic arm that pulls the tube around it and also it will work just with this flat section here just off of a small ram pushing it through to formers so that it will just graduate the curve but I'll, I'll show you it in action later on hopefully A base plate is 6mm what I've done is I've drilled holes tapped them and countersunk them welded them put a V prep on the bolt and on or on the stud and on the plate here welded it full around and then ground it flush there's eight bolts in total and then just as a bit of extra security I wound a nut down on them tightened them up and I welded these on both a couple of tacks each side and this plate will mount through these holes here, I'll show you that later on and then we have the top plate to catch the bolts at the top I've made wee spacers uh, wee thready spacers so that I can keep the top as flush as possible and there's a whole row of various spacers I'll show you how they all go together as I build this Right, it's ready to assemble. I've cut all these bolts to the right height and put a wee chamfer on the edge of them because they will fit into these holes here that I've made these wee spaces up with and they slot in there and then they'll be welded. You'll see that when it's assembled. I've welded the rotation pin sleeves in the top and the bottom plate fully welded them and they all get tacked as far as I can reach in there once it's assembled both sides this has been fully welded uh, that's 3mm plate, pretty thick there and these are 6mm plates uh, it should be up to the job once I've put the central section on here I'll wind nuts down these sh shafts and tack them onto here so that that also secures it to that bottom plate ok I'll get ahead now and show you some finished uh, photos just before I go the centre line radius of the tube will be 125 millimetres or in old man's money it will be 4 and 7 eighths Right here it is all bolted together uh, and tacked together as you can see it's made out of three separate levels the top and bottom sheet is 6mm the centre section is 3mm uh, this is the pivoting pin when it's in one type of bender and there'll be a flat plate welded on here for the push bender uh, this is the locking pin Show you up on the side. As you can see there. As 
see there's the tube in place there and the locking pin goes in there just to hold it all in place. I won't weld these wee nuts just now simply because that will allow me to tweak it if I can see it starting to flex or anything and uh, when I'm sure that everything's ok I'll weld inside a couple of wee tacks along the edges here and these holes are basically to move the pinch pin along when it's at getting grabbed with a lever at different positions to get right round to give you the full 180 degrees and it's got the inch pivot and pin there as well in the centre so if I get a chance I'll show you an operation As you can maybe see, it's bent this tube nice. This is what I made the former for to do this tube. It has left a few wee marks on it, but they're really just more superficial on imprinting to it. Nothing that a small flap wheel grinding won't clean up. And uh, I also made up these wee bits here for it just to pivot in the actual bender itself. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the result of that. That should look quite nice on the bike. 